G'day mate, thanks for dropping by. Well, the last uh, video I showed, I was looking at the Trangia Mini T28. While I was looking for that, a Trangia T25 Duo Cell came up, and it was an absolute bargain. So I just had to buy it. So I'll just show you what I got. I bought the bag extra once again to keep everything in one place and to keep any soot, dirt or cooked food away from other items. That's the Trangia 25. Comparing it with my original Trangia 27, you can see it is larger by some degree. Trangia make this primarily for two or three people and it certainly is a, uh, I think, the most popular size. Let's have a look at it. Now, Duo Sow is a composite of aluminium and stainless steel. So, for example, stainless steel inside this frying pan with aluminium on the outside. The duo cell range is the uh, top of the range for Trangia. Uh, it is a little bit heavier than the all aluminium uh, models, but certainly it is more robust and probably easier to clean, uh, potentially even better than the non-stick. Anyway, that's the frying pan, quite a size probably around about 8 inches or 200 mils came with a Trangia burner and the pot lifter two stainless steel and aluminium saucepans so that they're duo cell as well you can see they have been used the guy I bought it off was giving up camping and he just decided to pass it on but still I consider that to be in excellent condition as with all the Trangias there is the, the um, key to the success of the Trangia is the protection of the burner from the wind in Europe they're called storm cookers and if you're going into a windy area it's ideal. Burner goes in there. Saucepan goes on top. Saucepan, sorry, saucepans go in there. And the frying pan goes on top. The only thing I did buy Oh, I bought a couple of other things. It didn't come with a aluminium kettle. Uh, so I ended up buying a GSI stainless steel kettle. It fits inside, uh, but they do recommend you need a saucepan stand, which go, this is a Trangia version, which goes in there. This can then sit on top. Now, there are many YouTubes around where people, instead of paying whatever Trangia charge for this, they actually make their own out of mesh or they bend it up out of wire. But certainly it would be better if you're going to use uh, smaller pots in the Trangia 25 or even the 27, uh, is to get one of those. And then that has no problem about sitting in there like that. So that's the... GSI stainless steel a kettle uh, a little bit larger I think than the standard Trangia aluminium kettle certainly a larger opening um, the other thing that I just want to mention well there's two other things I just want to mention um, a lot of people have some trouble 
um, snuffing out their um, burner and a lot of the YouTube show people dropping um, this uh, cap onto the burner. I found this in an auto shop, little magnet, and I think that might be a better option rather than throwing and potentially missing it. So I think it was about eight Australian dollars or thereabouts. So it's telescopic, a little magnet on the end, and easily pack up in your camping gear. But I think it will save the potential of burning or just dropping and then missing, uh, extinguishing the burner. The other thing I want to mention is the Trangia alcohol bottles. I've had uh, one of these for a while. This is a 500 mil. Um, they're excellent product, excellent way to store meth what we call methylated spirits in Australia. Um, but I also found I would never go through that. So I found a, the smaller one. This is 300 mils in red and the much rarer green. Once again, 300 mils. Um, I only found this um, on eBay, brand new, uh, at a European um, seller. Um, the 500 mil and the 300 mil and the larger one litre seem to be more readily available um, at retail outlets. But if you're actually after the green one, you're going to have to hunt round, I think. It could have been Germany. Uh, a seller in Germany was on eBay and had some of these, and I ended up buying one of them. Okay, so I've now got the full range. I've got a my original Trangia 27. I've got my second-hand Trangia Mini, or T28, and... Quite by accident, I happened across a Trangia 25 Duo Sow, which is top of the range for the uh, Trangia models. And as I said, it was an absolute bargain. So all I can recommend is if you're after a particular model and you can't afford the 200 Australian dollars to get one of these, look around at the secondhand market. And if you're lucky, uh, you may come up with one. So thanks a lot for popping in and I'll see you next time.